Since first at six, they're tired of just words and they're tired of the violence. Now they want to see some real concrete solutions. People who showed up to a downtown news conference raised their concerns about the ongoing violence in the city. This comes less than a week after quadruple homicide on the northeast side. rtv 6s Megan Sanctorum is working for you to find out what one city county councilor is proposing and why some community members are so upset. I'm about to bury my cousin in two weeks. It's Hearts are hurting. This conversation I'm having is real. This and is tensions real. are high. The issue is poverty. The issue is gentrification. The issue is food desert. The A community fed up and desperate for change, they say, isn't happening quick enough. I didn't see you. I didn't see you. I didn't see you. Several people interrupted a press conference led by Councilor Brian Mowry as he announced the creation of an emergency public safety summit. The summit will bring leaders from crime fighting and faith based groups together in one room to discuss solutions to ongoing violence. But the announcement was not received well by some community members. The community has had these conversations for years and none of them have shown up. Where were you a couple years ago when the community was saying what they needed? The where were you? And now she thinks the focus needs to be on addressing the root cause of violent crime. Till we get to the root, we're still gonna see the same old pattern of violence happening. We have major socioeconomic trauma in our community. And socioeconomic trauma goes way beyond just a conversation. It goes beyond it's mental health, it's drug addiction, it's poverty when people can't get jobs. Some say they're frustrated by a lack of collaboration. We have a lot of people trying to build programs to help and assist, but we have no support because guess what? Everybody's building their, their own issues. Everybody's working on their own thing. Collective impact, that's what the word true, truly should be, is collective impact and what unity really looks like. We asked Mayor Hogsett for his response to the community frustration today. Creating another bureaucracy just to talk some more about violent crime won't save the life of a single individual. Working for you, Megan Sanctorum, RTV6. And that emergency public safety summit will be held next Monday.